Benign neonatal hyperbilirubinemia, also known as physiological jaundice, is a very common cause of jaundice in the newborn. In fact, virtually all newborns have some degree of indirect hyperbilirubinemia relative to normal adult values. It typically occurs in the first few days of life. However, any jaundice occurring in the first postnatal day, that is, within 24 hours of birth, is considered pathologic until proven otherwise. The infant should be otherwise healthy, thriving, and breastfeeding adequately. Poor feeding, excessive weight loss, or other signs of poor health would indicate an alternate diagnosis. A thorough history and physical examination are required to assess for the presence of risk factors for the development of severe hyperbilirubinemia and to exclude other etiologies. Several risk factors can increase the severity of physiological jaundice, such as prematurity and breastfeeding. When this occurs, it is referred to as exaggerated physiologic jaundice. There is a greater risk of highly elevated bilirubin levels when multiple risk factors are present. If an underlying etiology is not discovered, it is still possible that infants with exaggerated physiologic jaundice actually have an underlying entity such as Gilbert syndrome. A thorough assessment should not reveal findings suggestive of a pathologic etiology such as pallor or splenomegaly. Most thriving newborns without risk factors for severe hyperbilirubinemia will only need measurement of fractionated bilirubin levels, that is total and indirect bilirubin. An hour-specific nomogram should be used to predict which infants are at risk for developing higher bilirubin levels. Total bilirubin levels usually reach a peak around 35 days of age. The total bilirubin levels should rise by less than 5 mg per deciliter per day and should not rise higher than 12 mg per deciliter. Otherwise, and an evaluation for pathologic etiologies is required. Spontaneous resolution of visible jaundice usually occurs within one week in a term infant and two weeks in a preterm infant. Total serum bilirubin levels decline to adult levels over a few weeks. Jaundice that begins or persists past the 8th to 14th day of age should also prompt further consideration. Benign neonatal hyperbilirubinemia is a normal physiological process. It does not cause morbidity, and treatment is not routinely required. However, in rare cases, such as in the instance of multiple risk factors, high levels of bilirubin may occur requiring phototherapy. Infants at risk for the development of severe hyperbilirubinemia should be closely monitored and managed appropriately. Suspension of breastfeeding is not recommended.